Tempeh is a delicious and nutritious substitute for meat and something you're definitely going to want to try if you're interested in eating a more plant healthy diet. I'm going to explain exactly what it is, what it tastes like, what it looks like, and how to use it in cooking. Let's start with what tempeh is. Tempeh is a minimally processed whole soybean product. It's made by taking whole soybeans, partially cooking them, and then putting them through a culturing or fermentation process, which binds them together into a cake form or a block. The natural flavor of tempeh is mild and a little earthy, and maybe even a little nutty. And of course, that is until it is either seasoned or marinated in some way for additional flavor. People often wonder what the difference is between tofu and tempeh beans, that they're both made from soybeans. And tempeh is actually less processed than tofu, and it does have more of its own natural flavor. It's more firm, tempeh is more firm and uh, more chewy. And it actually, it's structurally, it's, it's quite close to meat. So it is a good meat replacement in many dishes, actually. Nutritionally speaking, it's an excellent source of protein and fiber as well as calcium and iron and several other important nutrients. And there are some studies that do indicate that it may be helpful in reducing internal inflammation, though more research needs to be done on that. Now I wanna show you how it's packaged and exactly what it looks like up close. So I have two different types here to show you. The first one is uh, sold in cake form or a block, as I mentioned earlier. This particular one is actually three grain tempeh, so it uh, also has millet, brown rice, and barley, so that's another way you can buy it where it's just uh, tempeh or it is mixed with grains. So that's what it looks like when it comes in a block. You can actually see the compressed soybeans right there. And the, the coloration that's in there is from the culturing process, and that's perfectly normal. So this is one of the brands. There are many brands and many flavors, but that's what one looks like in block form. And this one I have opened. Um, this one is in strips. As I mentioned earlier, you can get them in strips. Sometimes that's easier. And this is sesame garlic, one of the many wonderful flavors that I personally like. And um, I'm gonna, I open this one so I can show you what the strips look like. So you can see here it's cut in strips, about a little, well maybe a quarter inch or a little bit thinner. And then you just pop these little strips right out of there. Or if you buy the, the block, you can just cut them into strips like this. And then, uh, you, then you can just go ahead and get them in the frying pan. You, you always need to cook this before you eat it, of course. And you'll just fry it up till it's golden brown and it is good to go. And that's what it looks like up close. Now you want to be sure and purchase a brand that says either organic or non-GMO on the packaging because soybeans are the most genetically modified crops in existence. And so you want to be careful of that. As far as where to find it at your grocery store, it will be in a refrigerated section and it oftentimes is located near the produce. You may need to ask one of the uh, folks that works at the store where it's located. If you're not at a natural market, be prepared to see a blank face staring back at you because not everybody knows what tempeh is or certainly where it's kept in the store. But it will be in a refrigerated section. And then go ahead and feel free to stock up because it freezes really well. You can go ahead and just pop it in the freezer and then I would say take it out the day before you want to use it. Um, maybe in the morning would be okay too. And then just stick it right in the refrigerator and let it thaw out and it will be good to go. As far as how to cook with it, all you're going to do is if you purchase the block, you're going to just slice it into strips, maybe a quarter inch thick or so, or slightly less than that. If you bought the strips, you're already good to go. You basically are going to fry it on each side about two to three minutes until it's golden brown. Do that over medium heat. And then once it's done, you can either just uh, cut it into bite-sized pieces, or you can actually take your fingers and crumble it into little tiny pieces, depending on how you're going to, you know, what you're going to use it for. Tempeh is delicious in soups and salads and sandwiches. You can even make yourself a BLT style sandwich, but I guess it would be called a TLT, tempeh lettuce tomato. Um, that is delicious. You can even buy maple bacon flavored tempeh, and that is delicious um, on that type of sandwich. So you can season it any kind of way you want to. It really soaks up flavor so nicely. And it's just one of my favorite foods and I hope you try it uh, in various different ways and I hope you like it as much as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure and let me know by clicking on the like button below. 
Also, be sure to share it with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it. And also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content on plant-based basics for beginners. And please feel free to leave questions and comments below in the comment section as well. I always enjoy chatting with folks there. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it and I hope that this video was helpful to you. Take good care.